Hey everyone, this is Mr. Min. Hope everybody's healthy, safe, and inside. I know last video I promised you guys a strength training tutorial that's on the way. But for this video, I'm going to cover another important factor when it comes to exercise, which is food and nutrition. You're probably wondering why Mr. Min is doing this. A little backstory when Mr. Min was in college, Mr. Min studied this as a minor. Mr. Min took level one, two, and three in a cultural class, which means we learn about different cultures and how the, the foods they eat and why they eat those certain foods. But in this video, I'm gonna cover the breakdown of all foods you eat. So, before I begin, shout out to the fifth graders, all of you guys. I still have your pencils. They're, on, they're still here. They're not lost. But, moving on to the video. All foods you eat are broken down to two categories. Macro, nutrient, and micro, nutrient. An easy way to remember is macro is the main And micro is the mini. In macronutrients, there are three subcategories. Carbohydrates, or carbs, as most people call them. Protein, the muscle building and maintaining. And fats, which should be self-explanatory. And then for micro, here are two, vitamins and minerals. That's also another way to remember. Vitamin, minerals, micro. And then for macro, there's also one more that nobody really looks at, which I do, which is very important, water. We'll get to that in a moment. So, carbs, what are carbs? Carbs are any foods that when broken down gives you sugar. So, this includes bread, pasta, rice, any cakes you eat, candy, and even fruit. Protein. Proteins are long chains of amino acids. Don't worry about that for now, but just know that they're long chains. Proteins come from any meat source. My handwriting is not that pretty, guys. Forgive me. Any meat source. So, beef, pork, turkey, fish, chicken legs. If you're vegetarian or vegan, your protein source will most likely come from tofu or other, any sort of meat substitute, which is made out of beans. And then for fats, that should be pretty obvious. Fats come from oil, Butter, margarine, nuts, and even some fish. So, you need a balance of all three 
to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Now, if you want to change one of the, depending on what you want to do with your diet, you can change the amount you eat, but we will be covering that in this video. If you want that to be covered in another video, comment down below. All right, that's it for macro. We'll cover water in a second. For the micro, vitamins and minerals are basically tools found in foods that help the body grow and regulate itself. There's only one difference between vitamins and minerals. Minerals are metal based. Does that mean you're eating metal? Technically, yes. For my group and my STEM club, you've seen this but with the Cheerio experiment where we got iron out of Cheerios using magnets. These metals help your body regulate itself, either through blood, with bones, teeth. So a big example would be calcium for bones. Iron for your blood, things like that. The last thing to cover is water. Water is important because it helps it help clean your body out. If you eat too much candy or sugar, you you're gonna get hyped up. If you drink water, it's gonna flush out the sugar and help regulate your body. Now. Everybody needs a different amount of water per day, depending on how tall you are, how old you are, and how much you weigh. A good rule of thumb is, if you're an adult, three-fourths to a whole gallon a day. And for a child, about half a gallon a day. Don't drink it all in one go. Spread it out throughout the day. So that your body, it's... Hydrated, it's not dried out, you're not tired. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Next video will be the, tra the training video. I'll see you guys then. As always, be safe, be healthy, and inside. Bye.